Hi, I'm Cecilia Harris. I'm with Textiles West, and I'm going to talk with you today about measuring yourself to determine what size pattern you should cut out. Now, I will preface this by saying that fit is a very complicated subject, and we could, you know, talk about lots and lots of different um, things when it comes to fit. This will be a much more basic. I would encourage you, if you have special fit problems, to take a class that is specifically on fit or uh, something that where you could make a sloper for your body. That's a, a garment that fits you super, super close, but it, would, it helps you to identify where you need to alter patterns. Because, you know, pattern companies are just like clothing companies, are creating patterns just with a one size kind of in mind. Most of them are is for a B cup. So if you are bigger than that or smaller than that, there are some adjustments that you might need to make. But today we are just going with super basic. You will probably make up if this is your first garment, a pretty simple garment maybe that doesn't not have doesn't have a lot of fit and then you can find out where your problem areas are. A lot of garment makers always make what's called a toile, and it is a um, like a trial run. So you've cut out your, you've measured yourself, you've got as close as you think you can. You lay it out, you cut it out in fabric, often a muslin fabric, something that you're not necessarily going to wear. You can use actual fabric. I w just go with whatever I find that's similar in weight and type of fabric, and also that's not very expensive. And then you can make it up, try it on, and decide what needs to be changed. So, and then after you've made numerous garments, you'll know what you need to fix before you cut it out, and that will help you a lot. But I'm just gonna give you some basics today. First, before I measure myself and show you where we're gonna measure it, I wanna show you where those measurements are on a pattern. This is an example of a purchase pattern that you will find at you know the big box stores, Joann's and um, Hobby Lobby, some of those. And so this is the front of the pattern. Now this is a pattern I've used already, and this is just a little side note that you might find helpful. After I've cut my pattern pieces out, trying to get them back inside a pattern envelope that this big is just an exercise in frustration, so I wouldn't do it. So I have a lot of these cheap manila envelopes that I put all of the pattern pieces in afterwards, and it's much easier to get it in there. Also, on the back, I'll write the date that I made this garment and any comments I have about that. Um, this one I said I didn't have enough fabric for the skirt to be as full as it was, so I decided to change it a little bit. Because you think that you're going to remember, but I guarantee you, you will not. <laughs> or if you're like me, you will not. So that I have a record there. I, glue, I cut apart the envelope, I glue the front on there, and just put it in a regular filing cabinet. So just a little extra there, tidbit. This is what the back of this envelope looks like. And there are a there's a lot of information on there. There's information about suggested fabrics, um, the, the requirements that you are gonna need to complete this garment, thread, zippers, buttons, whatever is you know, necessary for this, you know, the garment that you're making. It also gives the sizes so there are measurements here, and that's what we're going to be focusing on today. But there are also fabric requirements. Once you determine your size underneath there, it will tell you how much fabric you're going to need to purchase, depending on which version, if there are more than one version of the pattern you're going to make. So a lot of good information on the back. So you want to have this handy and save it. All right, so right here um, at the top in this particular one are the measurements. So for a size medium, it will give bust, waist, hips, uh, and back to waist measurements. If you were making slacks, it would, in, it would include you know, waist to floor, some of those uh, measurements that are specific to the type of garment you're making. Down here, garment measurements. You need to be sure that you don't confuse the two. The garment measurements are the measurements of the finished garment. And every garment will have some ease built in. So if your waist is 25 inches, mine is not, but if yours was, you would not be able to make a non-stretch fabric garment that was 25 inches at the waist. You would not be able to bend over or sit or breathe even. So there is ease built into 
um, all of the patterns. So wearable ease is just that, what it sounds like, so that you can move, all right? And that's not very much. Design ease might be um, what would be included in the design of the pattern. So if you have a very loose fitting garment and it's intended to be loose fitting, well, the waist, the, the waist of the finished garment might be 40 inches. And so you'll be able to find out that information on the garment. How that pertains to fit is this. Let's say that you, um, in your bust, you measure as a size 14. And in your waist is a little bit bigger, you measure as a size 18, for example. You would want to look at the finished garment to find out how big the finished garment at the waist is. If it was um, a real A-line dress, you might not need to make any adjustments at the waist. You might be able to cut out a size 14 knowing that the size 14 will accommodate your waist. So there are some ways that you can fudge that if you need to. And in a, a later video when we are actually cutting out a piece of uh, fabric and we, you can grade from one size to the other. But the garment measurements will help you to determine if you need to do that. Uh, so that's what it looks like on one of these patterns. This is an independent pattern. Again, I've copied and taken the first uh, page, and glued it on top of my uh, envelope, and it just looks a little different, but it's the same information. Um, this ha is the finished garment measurements. I'll turn it this way so that you can see it. And this one are, are the measurements to determine what size that you're going to be. So you'll see there's bust, waist, and hips in this particular pattern. It's a cardigan. You know, don't need to know, you know, the length of your pants because you're not doing that. Um, it's pretty simple, uh, pr a pretty simple design. So those are the three measurements we're going to deal with.